hello everyone. Uh, I've recently been running a Minecraft server um, for myself, my girlfriend, her sister, and might get some friends on it in the future. Don't know what I'm going to do. And so I've decided to do a couple of videos. One sort of going over the world itself, and one going over the server and the more sort of technical background aspect. And this is the background technical bit because I'm quite proud of what I've managed to set up. Um, the server's just run on an old, you know, netbook that I've had lying around. Uh, which uh, I've improved it a little bit over the stock model, you know, improved the memory, that kind of thing, run a little bit of kernel patching and stuff. But it's basically, it's just a netbook, but that's fine for Minecraft. It, it We've tried it out, it runs really well. Um, and basically, I've put a few things in place to make it easier to handle because I just kind of want to tuck it out of the way and ignore it. I don't want to be pulling the netbook out whenever I want to do something uh, with the server. Um, plus, I, I wanted to have, like automated backups and things and I know there's stuff out there to do it already but I didn't want to research I kind of wanted to do it myself so that's what I've done um, so if I try and join the server right now it's not running just on the internal IP and it'll say hey no you can't connect because it's not there it doesn't exist okay so if we look down here um, this is basically an, an SSH uh, connection to the netbook so basically I'm doing commands on here um, but there are actually commands that are going on the netbook. I'm, I'm, this isn't my PC. It's the netbook I'm doing things with using my PC. It's, it's a little complicated, but it does make sense. Um, so here, if I go into the Minecraft folder, um, here is all the Minecraft server things, uh, which you normally see. Uh, we've got two worlds here, Nowhere and World. Nowhere is just something that we were doing, and World is like the, the, the one we're using mainly at the moment. And then I've set up this... Uh, script here this isn't going to be interesting at all if you're not interested in this kind of linuxy stuff then please you know go to another video this really isn't for you uh but anyway uh so if we look at the server thing and basically what this is is this showing the whole thing yeah it is um this is a little script which automates everything for me um and by that what i mean is i don't just want to run the server um, because, well, I, I, you know, I could do that, there's nothing wrong with that, but I wanted to make sure that, um, I, I want to have automated backups, just in case, you know, if it gets griefed or anything like that, we can go back to one, if the map gets corrupted, we can go back to an earlier version, if, if my, you know, if my uh, netbook explodes, uh, then, you know, the map's still there elsewhere, because I've got a NAS box, uh, which is basically a box that holds files elsewhere, um, so basically what this does is it runs the server for me um, and then when the um, server gets shut down for whatever reason uh, it, it mounts sort of it, it connects to the NAS box and then tries to copy uh, the map there um, adding the, the date and you know and the time so that you know we can see when it was made and then you know if, if it's done correctly then it tells me if it's not then it goes hey something's gone wrong. Uh, and I'm planning to have this maybe email me if something's gone wrong. Although, to be fair, generally, if it gets to that point, probably I'm in the room. Um, and I know it's gone wrong anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's probably just that the NAS box is turned off. Um, but I'm quite happy with this because I've been, you know, playing around with it. I've been trying to sort of get it all automated. So it runs properly and I don't have to faff about. I can because i can connect through the pc i don't have to sort of mess around so i'll, I'll exit like i'll start the server uh, i think it's is it is it no hop i think it's no hop uh, uh mcserver.sh and okay there we go and now that's running the server in the background so you can see like the last few instructions here you can see the date and time i'm pointing at the screen you can't see this uh, you can see the date and time here and all that malarkey. Um, so that's now running. So I can actually close this. I don't need to leave it open. Uh, and then if I go back up to Minecraft here, and now if I try and connect, here I am. I'm in the world uh, and it's set up. And it's, you know, it's just a standard Minecraft server. So I can do all the normal commands that you'd expect. It's, it's just a Minecraft server. And it, it runs fine, and it's a pretty complex level, but you know, see there it is, it's loading okay. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's the technical side of my Minecraft server. Bye.